Hi everyone, my name is Ines. I'm a digital artist, trying traditional art for the first time. <laughs> Not really the first time, but I'll say the first time in a long time and i'll be trying acrylic painting i'm not really familiar with acrylic paints i think i've tried acrylic once before and that was about it so this will be my second time trying acrylic painting and i decided to do this because i moved to a new flat and i needed some artwork on the wall so i thought that would mix media mixing traditional and digital art together so I have a big canvas I've the art supplies I am ready to go and yeah we'll just go straight into the video guess what we'll be doing first we'll be prepping first and the first thing we need to do is to decide on the color and the design so I'll be getting my iPad yes just for the mock-up just to plan what exactly i am going to draw because i'm going to be creating the art on a big canvas and i don't want to mess it up so i have to make sure that i plan very well pick my colors and the design before i actually go ahead with the painting so stage two of my prep was to mix a bunch of colors together until i got the desired colors that i wanted for my painting for my art and it was honestly just mixing a bunch of colors with white <laughs> because the colors are very pale i needed a lot of white acrylic paint to you know brighten the colors and get the perfect shade and i got a sample sheet acrylic sheet just to see how these colors look together before i actually work on it on a bigger canvas the inspiration for today's art is based on a monument in the north of England so that when my friends come into my house they can immediately recognize the painting and that is the thing for today just embracing embracing my northern English side I guess <laughs> and I'm just sketching my idea down putting my iPad next to my canvas for reference just to know and remember my idea and thought process and yeah, I'm just adding the clouds, the sun and the shape that I needed before I progress to the paint and now I've started painting because I've selected my colors before I mix my colors together I'm just going to lay them down lay them down straight away I mix them with a little bit of water but not too much and i realized that throughout this process i would have to end up covering my line work a bunch but you know you just have to take it as it is <laughs> that's one thing that makes digital art different from traditional art because with digital art you can move your layers around and make sure that your colors make sure that your line work is still visible but with traditional art the more you work on the art the less visible the line work will be but yeah the process at this stage was still quite smooth i think the most stressful part was actually when i had to draw the figure the angel so that was a bit tricky if you're still watching this video at this stage why don't you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you're interested in digital arts my content is quite different from this but you can check my other videos out to know what i create it looks so good in the camera i the process was actually not that stressful it's something that you know i still plan to do this again because it's such a soothing process it was very smooth there was a lot of like errors and mistakes but i didn't feel pressure to perfect every line and yeah it's just very therapeutic i would say compared to my usual work where i get very stressed so maybe if i want to try more therapeutic art work digital traditional art is probably something to try more of for sure 
some of you might ask with me trying traditional art now which one do i prefer more digital or traditional and i would say for me digital art is just my <laughs> go-to medium and it's very hard for me to compare digital art to traditional art in my case because obviously the style i've chosen for my traditional art is quite different from my digital art so i would say that if i applied my traditional my digital art techniques my digital art style into traditional art i'll probably struggle a lot more than this simplified simplistic style but i still enjoy this process very much and it's probably encouraged me to try a different style from my usual style and i would enjoy doing that on canvases and with acrylic paint more than digital so i'll say for this kind of style i would prefer the traditional art but with my usual style digital art is definitely the way to go for me so it's all about preference and what you like to draw with you you guys should let me know down in the comments below which one do you prefer digital art or traditional art this is the mess after i finished painting <laughs> this is why it's charging art so much it can be so messy but i'll clean this up then i'll come back with a fresh face and show you guys the final result okay yeah, this is the final drawing this is the final painting <laughs> i am actually impressed with myself you know i will give myself maybe like a six 6.5 over 10 um, the reason why I mark myself down is because there's a lot of like texture like it's not perfectly smooth there's a lot of like mistakes and errors and I feel like there's some parts that are not covered with the paint properly that is the reason why I mark myself down but like I'm really pleased with the drawing it looks like what I was going for and you know it's it didn't go beyond my expectation but it also did not go below my expectation so I'm pretty pleased with myself let me know what you guys think thank you so much for watching I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you next time bye so this is what the final art looks like on my world it complements my other artwork really really well so I'm really pleased with how it turns out and the colors is perfect like I might not be an expert at mixing colors but I think I did a great job here Drop, you can't ignore it